We're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. So what happened? Tire, the tire separated. And the tire monitor doesn't show anything because it didn't lose any air, huh? Nope. Oh, crap. Did it hurt any of the brake lines or anything? No, it didn't get the brake lines. Left side. Up. We're coming down. Yeah. Gotta get blocks, put them underneath too. Gotta get blocked, okay. You put the tire winding thingy in back where the license plate would be. And the tire fell right on out. It gets to a point where it says excessive angle or something so yeah, I don't even know huh it won't go any farther I, I don't know we're gonna find out or you just stop it stopped on its own but I'm wondering if that's even gonna make any difference because of the angle it reads ready so we're doing a manual lift on the left side now, see, it says excessive right. angle. So we couldn't get the legs to go far enough to pick up the tires. So you're putting a bottle jack underneath there? Yeah. What you are putting it against? Diesel. Swing arm on this thing. The arm on the slide? No. No? On the suspension. Oh, the suspension, okay. Later on, I went on Facebook and posted what had happened and got a response that explained what we should have done. So I will explain what the right way would have been further down in this video. I know about this. the ground yet? Yeah. Oh man. Well it is, but the new one won't be. That's true. So you're just looking out the side window and saw the wires hanging there, huh? Yep. And some of this tread, something black hanging out. So we probably went, what, maybe three miles with it like that? Maybe. Eventually it would have blown up, I would suspect. Don't you think? Maybe. <laughs> Are you high enough up? First time we have to do this. First time for everything. Yeah, and now you got a unbalanced wheel. You know, all the rest of them have been balanced. Yep. 
You don't have any way to check the torque on these, do you? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. So it's supposed to be like 150 pounds or something? Yeah. Well, so it's a good idea to have a bottle jack with you, isn't it? Yeah. I can tell it. Probably need a bigger one. That's one of those hacks that you want to have but never use. You got that right. That's what you want to have. Yeah. And never use. <laughs> This is a Goodyear 215-75R17.5 rated H. C114, Unisteel. Good thing Dave noticed that. sticking out the side so we pulled over. We got lucky on an exit. We're in uh, Ohio. And at this exit, had a super wide shoulder. And it was drizzling and it stopped raining before we got here and now the blue skies are coming out. Thank you, Lord. We're lucky that's the only damage we got. Yeah, we'll be looking at new tires. Yeah. If it uh, would have blown up, it would have been a whole lot worse, that's for sure. So glad you were looking out the window, Dave. I'm glad I did too. Well, you can set that thing to a certain weight. Yeah. Yeah, too bad the uh, tire pressure monitors don't tell you your tread's falling off. Yeah, look at that, man. Right down to the steel belt. They just came unglued. Yeah. Well, the roads have been pretty bad, too. So now you're going to put that up back up underneath there, then, huh? Yeah. All done, and we're ready to roll. One hour later. Dave, is there anything you'd like to say now that the ordeal is over with? Well, it could have been worse than what it was. We got away pretty easy, so I feel fortunate. Off to get new tires. So that evening, I got on Facebook on the DRV problems and fixes, and I described what we went through and was asking why we were not able to lift that side of the trailer with the left jacks. And Rick Benz responded back, it said the correct method is to always ground all six jacks first to assure even support and pressure all the way around the frame. Then begin raising alternating side to side until the side you need to remove the wheel from is the height you need. You may end up with all four wheels off the ground, but that's okay. You may also need to raise the front jack slightly to keep from pulling up in the hitch and putting excessive downward pressure on the kingpin and pin box. Raising one side without all six jacks ground could potentially twist the frame. So that was an um, excellent explanation as far as I was concerned. And also Terry Bryant and Dwayne Claus um, gave similar responses and added to it. So I really appreciate everybody's quick responses to Facebook because that helped us out when we changed the tires the next day.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.